Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! New Terms Scenario When Slash If Okay, so in this video, I'm going to have the AI um, explain when and if. It's going to be very brief, very um, simple, really. And I don't think I'll be providing um, examples here. As I've programmed to just keep... I've programmed uh, the AI here just to keep the question as simple and as basic and answering to the best of their abilities. With that being said, let's get on with the rest of the video. Can you explain to me what the term when means in monster effects in Yu-Gi-Oh? All right, let me explain the term when in Yu-Gi-Oh. Monster effects. This term is an introduction to effects that rely on the activation of other cards to resolve their activation condition. You will see wording such as when a spell, when a monster, etc. The clause always starts in this way. When is a type of effect we call inactive effects. Inactive effects in Yu-Gi-Oh! rely on external factors to resolve their activation condition. Whereas active effects rely on internal factors to resolve their activation condition. Internal effects are effects written that rely on phases and turns. Such clauses are once per turn at the end of the battle phase. Can you explain to me what the term if means in monster effects in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's break this down and explain the term if. This is a unique term in the game as it is the only term that does not fall under activation condition, but falls under player choice. Player choice means the card effects worded with if in them. This means it's up to the player to activate set effects at their time of resolution or delay them. This where chain linking or the term chain blocking comes from. Since 100% of cards with this term allows chain linking or chain blocking to occur, however please take note while the term if does not fall under activation condition due to player choice if the player decides to use it. Chain linking or chain blocking follow activation condition principle and are subject to that rule. Hopefully you know understand the terms when and if in Yu-Gi-Oh! And remember, if you have any difficulties, feel free to ask. I will be here to answer all your hard questions. Thank you. I will definitely call you out on that in the future. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.